assalamu alaikum i am nimsha let's start with our today's topic that is subject and object let's understand subject first what are subjects subject is a performer or doer of an action for example he walks who is performing the action he he is the subject because he is the doer of an action sara works who is performing the action sara sara is the subject we are watching a movie here we is a subject because we is performing the action when we look at the definition of subject in english grammar we use the subject to talk about the subject of sentence is the person place idea or thing that may be a noun or pronoun that does the action usually subject comes before the verb now we will discuss each part of definition individually first we will look at the subject of sentence is the person that does the action and person may be a noun or pronoun take the sentence mariam sleeps mariam is the subject here also a noun she sleeps she is the subject and pronoun you can see here the name of mariam is replaced by she because pronoun is used as the replacement of noun now you need to understand the subject of place that may be a noun or pronoun that does the action look at example karachi is the city of lights here karachi is indicating the subject of place it rains in karachi it is the subject pronoun subject of thing that is the action and thing may be a noun or pronoun let's take an example umbrella color is blue who is indicating the thing umbrella umbrella is the subject of thing that is noun it is an umbrella here the subject is it it is the subject pronoun subject of an idea that does the action an idea may be a noun or pronoun for example freedom is important freedom is the subject of an idea and also a noun next is everyone wants freedom here everyone is the subject and pronoun next part of definition is subject comes before the verb and verb describe an action let's take an example ali builds a house what action is performing here build so build is a verb who is performing the action ali so ali is the subject you can see the subject comes before the verb arsalan is thinking about horses what action is performing here thinking and who is performing the action arsalan so arsalan is the subject and thinking is the verb true love exists true is the subject and love is the verb let's, let's talk about objects what are objects the object is having something done to it or the receiver of an action for example he looks at me he is doing the action so he is the subject but who is receiving the action me me is an object next is umama invites us us is an object because us is receiving the action take a look at more example so you can understand easily hafsa loves donut donut is the object because hafsa loves what donut donut is the receiver of an action next i put the white cat out in the garden i put what out in the garden so the answer is white cat white cat is the object here 
Maruk got her IELTS score yesterday. Maruk got what? The object is her IELTS score. We understood object. Now we will understand subject and object together. Subject comes before a verb and object comes after the verb or sometime after the preposition. For example, she gave him a present. What action is performing here? Gave. Gave is the verb here. Who is performing the action? She. She is the subject that comes before a verb. Who is receiving the action? Him. Him is the object here that is after the verb. Next example is he is talking to her. Now he is the subject and to is a preposition and her is an object. So sometime preposition comes before the object. Now we will see some more examples of subject and object. I like it. We will invite him. You do not know me. He comes to meet you. Mariam wants to buy a mobile for her. Here, I, we, you, he, Mariam. These are the subjects because these are doing the action. When we look at it, him, me, you, her. These are the objects because these are receiving the action. I hope you understood subject and object. That's it for the day. Thank you.